Hey, good shot back there. These eight-legged freaks are getting bigger and more daring as time goes on. Ah, you're right. I think I only have about a clip left of ammo. Then it's all knives and pepper spray. Yeah, way too risky. But we need to prepare for the worst. We're, we're almost to the bridge. How many do we have following us? Three of those suckers are following us, but they're too far back, huh? <laughs> nice. That was way better than the ten that were following us before. I see the bridge! We should be in the clear. Oh, damn it. It looks like the road is split in half up ahead. It's probably because of all this rain. It always makes everything fall apart. Well, you better hold on tight. We're gonna jump it. Yeah. The spiders don't come out this far, remember? We need to get to the other side of the bridge. Unless you got some other bright idea. Hey, look. Look at me. We'll be okay. Alright. Let's do this. Hold on tight! Here we go! That's enough adventure for one day, don't you think? <laughs> Let's hope that bridge doesn't get damaged anymore. Or else we'll have to find a new spot to camp. <sighs> I think we got enough food to last us a week or so. But the food is getting harder and harder to come by. But hey, it could be worse. We have a spot surrounded by water that can only be gotten to by jumping with a motorcycle. I say that's pretty lucky. For sure. That actually sounds like a great idea. <sighs> we can chill here for a bit, and then we'll head over to Spaghetti Eddie's. <sighs> Read you a story? Yeah, sure thing. About a year ago, something happened with the spiders. We're not sure if it was the science experiment or just straight up evolution. But everywhere around the world, spiders started getting bigger. People started making TikToks about how they were finding spiders the size of cats in their houses. And then even dogs. And now, we're finding spiders the size of literal SUV trucks. Wicked scary shit. But thankfully, those are pretty rare, and we haven't run into one of those yet. I just hope that by now, they're at their full size, because if they grow any more, it's going to go back to the dinosaur age, but only with spiders. You would think that humans would have won this war, but spiders can have about a thousand babies at a time, and mature to full-grown adults in two weeks. It's the end of the world as we know it. So, me and my girl are doing what we can to survive. Going into the city to find food, and then coming back to this little place to hide away. We notice that the spiders won't cross the bridge, as they won't go anywhere near water. We've gotten radio signals every now and then, saying that Hawaii and other places surrounded by water are the golden areas. But we got no way of getting there without a boat or a plane and I wouldn't know how to operate them even if I did find one. So, we just do what we can to survive. We take refuge in a little spaghetti shop and we're hoping for a miracle. And then they all lived happily ever after. Ah, <sighs> what do you mean I suck at telling stories? I'm doing the best I can, all right? It's not like I have much practice. But anyways, ready to head over to HQ? That's yes, sir, to you.
Mm-mm-mm. The sweet smell of spaghetti. I never thought I could be comforted by the smell of spaghetti, to be honest. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of funny you bring that up. This place used to be run by a bunch of mobsters back in the day. This whole place was actually a cover. They sold spaghetti on the front, but was also a bunker in the back. You know, whenever things got crazy. And you know those mobsters, their lives are pretty crazy back then. <laughs> Actually, touche. Our life is pretty crazy now. Actually, our life is way crazier now that you think about it. <laughs> so, what are we doing for dinner? We got mashed potatoes, gravy, and biscuits. Sounds like a good victory meal. What do you think? Yeah, I know we're going to be having it for the next week, but it's always the first meal that always tastes the best. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, you're right. We should probably hit the shower first. That actually sounds absolutely perfect right now. But hey, great job today. I don't know where I'd be without you. You literally had my back today. I couldn't ask for a better partner. Whether the apocalypse is filled with dinosaur-sized spiders or sharks that grow feet and walk on land and become man-eating machines, I wouldn't want anyone else to have my back but you. Now, how about uh, we go take that shower, Stinky? Stinky. <laughs>